the ethnicity of breast cancer, cultural discrepancies in diagnosis and treatment decision. Nassim Amjadi, Marl Gazarian, Juliana Howland, Jessica Trimis, and Felix Young. Breast cancer is the most common type of malignancy and is the second leading cause of cancer deaths among American women. The burden of breast cancer is distributed disproportionately among minority women. Incidence and survival rates vary among different racial and ethnic populations. Culture plays a critical role in the breast cancer experience of Latina, Caucasian, and African American women. Despite its vital role, early breast cancer detection rates vary significantly when comparing white and non-white patients. Minority women are more likely to be underdiagnosed and diagnosed at more advanced stages of the disease. The treatment decision-making process among ethnic groups is both diverse and understudied. The influence of family members on a patient's treatment decision and the relationship between patients and physicians have been noted as contributing significantly to the patient's choice of treatment. African American women have the highest breast cancer mortality rate among all women. Among Latinas, the breast cancer incidence rate is rising three times faster than it is in non-Latina white women. A review of breast cancer diagnosis studies examines these discrepancies and the cultural factors that contribute to their occurrence. African American women are more likely to be diagnosed with advanced stage breast cancer than are Caucasian women. Additionally, African American women are more commonly diagnosed with breast cancer at a slightly younger average age than are Caucasian women. These observed differences could be accounted for by specific cultural factors. Patients' understanding of the uses and limitations of mammographic screening, cultural and psychosocial barriers in attempts to access care, and physician-patient relationships all influence the regularity of screening, which directly contributes to the observed discrepancies. Evidence shows that the number of African American and Latina women taking advantage of mammography screening is lower than it is in Caucasians, and may even be decreasing among certain populations. The reasons behind the disparities between women of different ethnic backgrounds in regards to breast cancer diagnosis are multifaceted and interconnected. African American and Latina women are more likely than Caucasian women to have an inadequate understanding both of the technology involved in the diagnostic process and in the mechanism of the disease itself. This misunderstanding is related to the relationship these women have with their physicians. Issues of mistrust and poor communication lead to an environment of hostility and fear, resulting in both physical and psychological discomfort with the medical system. Experiences of prejudice and discrimination in the medical setting prevent minority women from seeking breast care regularly. Both personal encounters and community attitudes create a climate of fatalism and denial in regards to breast health and breast cancer for these women. These cultural and situational factors inhibit a disproportionate percentage of minority women from regularly accessing care, exacerbating discrepancies among different ethnic groups regarding breast cancer diagnosis. For the purposes of this presentation, a reference to family may include a woman's spouse or significant other, parents, siblings, children, or other extended family or friends. Though women state that familial support is of the utmost importance following diagnosis, women of different ethnicities report various family members as their greatest support throughout the treatment process. Caucasian women cite their spouses as their greatest source of support, while Latinas and African American women cite children, extended family members, and friends. The discrepancies observed among women of different ethnicities with respect to which family members they turn to for support during their diagnoses and treatments may in part be attributable to the level of acculturation of the study participants. Many studies, especially those focusing on Latinas, base the grouping of women in the study upon the woman's acculturation level, either high or low. Acculturation groups are defined based upon knowledge of the native language literacy level, socioeconomic status, and the number of years the woman has lived in the United States. Women with high levels of acculturation are more independent in their treatment decision making than low acculturated women. Despite differences observed among acculturation levels, the majority of Latina women cite family as an important and often final decision maker when it comes to choosing a treatment, 
while African American and Caucasian women cite their doctors as final decision makers. Though family plays a significant role in the treatment decision-making process for women diagnosed with breast cancer, research has shown that both mastectomy and breast-conserving surgery beget equivalent outcomes in survival and disease-free interval. Of paramount importance, then, is not the final treatment chosen, but the involvement of the patient in choosing that option. Medical policy in the United States has stressed the importance of involving patients in their own health care, which results in overall higher quality of health care, better post-treatment quality of life, and greater satisfaction with medical care. Patient-centered care is a cogent indicator of health care quality. Ethnic disparities have been noted in this particular facet of the total breast cancer experience, as women of ethnic minority tend to participate less in the treatment decision-making process, which leads to poorer health outcomes. Disparities in healthcare and outcomes, whether originating socially, organizationally, or individually, are either affected or mitigated through physician-patient interactions that lead to increased or decreased patient participation. Physicians can play a critical role in ending ethnic disparities in post-treatment outcomes of women diagnosed with breast cancer by increasing the level of participation in the treatment decision-making process of minority women through targeted strategic methods. Patient participation is defined as both questioning the surgeon and perceiving oneself as the final decision maker. Patients are less likely to question the surgeon if they have been socialized to believe in the traditional patient role, which involves positing all responsibility for decisions with the doctor. Many of these patients may lack the skills or experience to participate and ask questions, or may not feel comfortable doing so. Patients also tend to ask fewer questions of their surgeon if they have difficulty understanding health information. They rely on the physician to make the decision because they do not feel as if they understand their disease well enough to decide on their own. On average, Caucasian women have greater breast cancer knowledge than minority women, which can often be the result of language barriers or inequities in education. In addition to a decreased likelihood of asking questions of their physician, Minority women are also less likely to perceive themselves as the final decision maker for reasons potentially related to family influence or to their relationship with their surgeon. Changing the trend towards taking this responsibility could generate significant movement towards better health outcomes of minority women diagnosed with breast cancer. Creating this change could be achieved through interventions targeted towards physicians who have the potential to reach a broad spectrum of patients. However, it is important to note that greater emotional support has been negatively associated with patient perception of being the final decision maker. This could be the result of psychological dependence or vulnerability on the part of the patient, which may disable them from making final decisions. Patients are more likely to question their surgeon and participate in treatment decision if their surgeon is soliciting input from them. Strategies such as partnership building efforts have increased communication and participation through eliciting questions, concerns, and opinions. Such strategies are associated with increases in patient questioning of the surgeon and the patient's self-perception of being the final decision maker, along with better patient recall of information, treatment adherence, and satisfaction with care and health outcomes. Merely providing patients with information is not enough to increase patient participation. Active strategies must be incorporated. Physicians are in a powerful position to affect long-term change and close the gap in health outcomes between women of different ethnicities. The roles of culturally based beliefs and ethnic differences in the breast cancer experience of women must be acknowledged. There is a need to account for cultural factors in breast health care. Such factors significantly affect the breast cancer diagnosis and treatment experiences of women of differing ethnic groups. In order to combat the ethnic disparity involved with these issues, additional culturally appropriate basic, clinical, and applied research needs to be conducted to design and implement public health programs and interventions aimed at increasing awareness, surveillance, and survival rates among all ethnic groups.